Hello students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting video, I would like to tell you something. Please sit with copy pen. If you find somewhere important, pause the video, note it and proceed on. If you find somewhere difficulty, then please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you once again. Now here is the question. A simple pendulum has time period T1. The point of suspension is now moved upward according to the relation y equal to kt square, where k equal to 1 meter per second square, where y is the vertical displacement. The time period now becomes t2. The ratio of t1 square upon t2 square is here we have given four options option a 5 by 6, option b 6 by 5, option c 1, and option d 4 by 5. This question is asked IIT 2005. Here, key point of this question, we are using this formula t equal to 2 pi root L by g. It means t is inversely proportional to the root g. Okay. Here we have given in the question a simple pendulum which is hanging with the thread, massless thread, and it goes to a part. Then use the formula y equal to, what is the given? y equal to kt square. By using this formula, double differentiation, because first differentiation get the velocity and second differentiation, we get the acceleration. So, effective g, here effective g is equal to g plus a, we get g plus a. And that time, we have to find out t1 square upon t2 square. It is our key point of this question. So, let us see y equal to kt square. Differentiate with respect of t on the side dy by dt equal to 2kt. Okay, so here we get the velocity and again differentiate d2y dt square. We get acceleration, it is 2k. And uh, what is the k? k is given in the question 1 meter per second square. So substitute this value 1. So here we get 2 meter per second square. So in second case, time period. Effective g, effective g, g plus a, then it can be written as 10 plus 2, that is 12 meter per second square. So, in this case, t1 upon t2 can be written as g2 upon g1, then that is effective g2, g2 means that is effective, additional 12. And here g1 is given already, that is 10. And squaring both the side, t1 square upon t2 square, that is 12 by 10. 2 6 are 12, 2 5 are 10. So our ratio, we get 6 by 5. Let's see which option is matched here. Option A is correct. I hope so. You understood this question. Thank you for staying till the end of this video. Definitely, when you will become success, full contribution goes to your hard work. But if my videos, my lectures, my questions will help in your success. I will consider myself lucky. Please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you once again. Take care. Bye-bye.